Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Yay. It's been a couple days. Um, yeah, Monday just completely wiped me out. So hi, I'm Kat. Uh, this is the Lady Ilaros channel and we are continuing, continuing our, 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 our ever so epic playthrough of Final Fantasy VII on an actual PlayStation. Um, so when so I'll uh, get started here. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stream, but we'll see how I do. Um, slightly tired, but not anywhere near as tired as I was on Monday, <laughs> in case anybody's wondering. So yeah, um, it might be a little sporadic here over the next couple weeks until my, my body uh, settles into the new, the new, new normal, and then things will stabilize. So we are here. Yep, the new job is totally kicking, so... It's less the new job and more the fact that I have to get out of bed in the morning. And actually, like, commute places and stuff. But I'd much rather be working at, you know, working at work than working at home. Uh, I will say that everyone's like, oh, work from home, it's great. No, it's actually not. <laughs> it kind of sucks. This is, my ha this is not supposed to be my stress and work room. This is supposed to be my streaming and old computer and happy room. So the fact that this was like my workroom was, you know, nuts because it didn't give me a place to get away from stuff. Yeah, work from home. Yeah, it that's it did last springs. That, yeah, you're exactly right. Work from home stole this room, and I'm kind of glad that I'm not in that position anymore. So this can go back to just being my retro fun room. So we are. Let's. Ooh. Mm, dinner. Uh, yeah, we're, I think work from home stole a lot of people's retro rooms. We're going to get into this because I want to get going. Um, boom. <whistles> Two or three vintage machines. Now it's just a work laptop. I was using the streaming tower for my work from home machine because it's hardwired to the internet and it just made it work so much. It was so much better better to have something that was hardwired. Alright, let's get- where were we? Cheat step, cheat step. Alright, so we, um, okay, we- okay, we- we just beat Genova Death. And now we are- most of this is going to be plot. And this stupid thing that I hate. Hey, cool. She says that she one-shots it. Yeah, I had put a- I have like an 80-foot- This- what is this? What happened? Calm down, Tifa. Sephiroth is near. Anything can happen. Um, yeah, I have like an 80 or- I have like an ethernet that runs from- this is upstairs, the modem is- and router is downstairs, because I've also got my PS4, uh, hardwired, and there's like a couple other things that are wired into it. So I have this like huge long ethernet cable running down the steps. But that's because you never want to- this streaming is not something I would ever attempt over Wi-Fi. Yeah, a friend of mine has a spool and just crimped me a, and just cut and crimped me a big long, like up like a ninety foot piece. Yeah, that's like enough. Yeah, a spool is like enough for the rest of your life. Oh, Yuffie gets to come with us, Nibelheim. But why Nibelheim? This is freaky, really freaky. This is an illusion Sephiroth made up. He's trying to confuse us. It'll be alright. As long as we know it's an illusion, there's nothing to be afraid of. Come on, let's keep going. Yeah, you're you're right. Look! Alright, let's go. Hey, that's not Cloud! <laughs> Yuffie, Cloud's not here! Stop, Sephiroth. Except it, it's the truth! This is so stupid! 
Oh, I also want to give a shout out to Spectre Flash and Joey's Bites who followed the channel between streams. Thank you very much for the support. Cloud, it's just an illusion. Don't worry about it. What's next? Stop it already. I didn't know it was this bad. This is what actually happened five years ago, but it's probably not me that's going to come out of the Shinra Mansion. He's going to try and show us another stupid illusion. See? Didn't I tell you? And like, so we've played Crisis Core, so we know this is actually what happened. Hey, it's you. Yeah, Zack. This is Zack. It's you. So you're still sane, right? Then come over in here and help me. I don't want to watch this cloud. Don't watch. Like, Tifa knows that this is the truth. I'll check this house. You check the one over there. What's wrong, Tifa? I told you before. As long as we know it's just an illusion, there's no need to be scared. Okay. And Tifa knows this is not an illusion. Hey, you all right? Dude, he's so... A dream, but it felt so real. Sephiroth, I know you're listening. I know what you want to say. That I wasn't in Nibelheim five years ago. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> I see you finally understand. What are you trying to say is that you want to confuse me, right? But even making me see these things won't affect me. I remember it all. The heat of the fire, the pain in my body and in my heart. Oh, is that so? You are just a puppet. You have no heart and cannot feel any pain. Yeah, Twitch alerts don't work very... Yeah, uh, Twitch alerts are habitually bad. They are habitually late. When they fire it all, Rex has gone online a bunch of times and I've missed it. Which is why I tweet and, and stuff before also, just to kind of cover my bases. How can there be any meaning in such the memory of such a being? What I have shown you is reality. What you remember, that is the illusion. Oh, I have to talk to... Cloud. Cloud. <laughs> Do you understand? I don't want to understand. But I want to ask you thing. one thing. Why are you doing this? <laughs> I want to take you back to your real self. The one who gave me the black materia that day. Who would have ever thought a failed experiment would prove so useful? Hojo would die if he knew. Hojo? What does he have to do with me? Oh, Cloud. You sweet summer child. Five years ago, you were constructed by Hojo piece by piece. Right after Nibelheim was burnt. A puppet made up of vibrant Genova cells, her knowledge, and the power of the Mako. An incomplete Sephiroth clone. Not even given a number. That is your reality. I can't do an evil British mastermind accent. Close your eyes. Close your ears. What's wrong, Tifa? I'm not affected by it. I wasn't paying attention to him. All that talk of Hojo constructing you is a lie. Don't we have our memories together? Being kids together, starlit nights? Ha 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 ha, Tifa. Why are you so worried and scared by those words? <laughs> Shall I show everyone here what's in your heart? <laughs> you look like you're not feeling well. Tifa, is, is Sephiroth right? I always hear him in George Newburn's voice from the compilation, but I obviously am not... I, I my voice only has so much range. Cloud. Why are you so scared? Don't worry about me. I'm alright. No matter how confused I am, I'll never believe a word that Sephiroth says. It's true that sometimes I can't figure out who I am, 
There's a lot of things muddled up in my memories. But Tifa, what you said, long time no see, Cloud, right? Those words will always support me. I am the one you grew up with. I am Cloud of Nibelheim. No matter how much I lose faith in myself, that is the truth. That's why you shouldn't be so scared. No matter what anyone else says to me, it's your attitude that counts. No, that's not true, Cloud. What's not? Aren't I the same Cloud you grew up with? That's not what I mean. I don't know how to say it. Cloud, I, I need some time. Just give me a little time. You are so 100% narrator, but she was out of time. Cloud, don't blame Tifa. The ability to change one's looks, voice, and words is the power of Genova. Inside of you, Genova has merged with Tifa's memories, creating you. Out of Tifa's memory. A boy named Cloud might, might have been just a part of them. Cloud, please don't think right now. <laughs> think Cloud. Cloud, <laughs> excuse me, you never had a name. Shut up, Sephiroth. Hey, you still don't understand. Then... Do you remember the picture we took before we headed for Mount Nibel? Tifa, you remember, right? But there is no way he would know. Now, what happened to that picture? <laughs> is this it? Do you want to see it? It turned out pretty good. Cloud, don't. I should be in the picture. Even if I'm not in there, no worry. This is just an illusory world Sephiroth made up. Narrator, he was not in the picture. Just as I thought. This picture's a fake. The truth is in my memory. Five years ago, I came back to Nibelheim to inspect the reactor. I was 16. The town hadn't changed at all. What did I do? Oh, yeah. I saw my mom. I saw the people in the town. Yeah, I went to Tifa's room, and I... I spent the night... I play. Oh, because we didn't play the piano. It, whatever you do in Tifa's room will come up there. And went to the reactor in Mount Nibel. I was excited about it because it was my first mission after becoming first class in Soldier. Soldier first class? Soldier? When did I enter Soldier? How did I join Soldier? Why? Why can't I remember? I'm... I'm... That's right. I didn't have to worry about it because I was... Cloud. Let's go, Tifa. I'm... I'm alright. If you look very closely in the Mako formations, you can see the weapons. It's just a very awesome little detail. Wow, that's amazing! It's all materia. The outside is rich with Mako energy. The inside is a treasure trove of materia. This is truly the promised land. <laughs> There's no such thing as the promised land. It's a legend, an old wives' tale. It's utterly ridiculous. Everything's as I imagined it to be. Isn't it splendid? It's that kind of dullness that makes you a second-rate scientist. What's happening? It's coming from within the wall. Something's in there. It's moving. <laughs> Weapon. Then it really does exist. I didn't believe in it. 
What does this mean? Weapon. Monsters created by the planet. It appears that the planet is in danger, reducing everything to nothingness. That's what was stated in Professor Gast's report. I never saw that report. Where is it? Here, right here. You keep a lot of things to yourself. <laughs> you don't know the quarter of it. I wonder how Cloud and the others are. It's hard to believe such a small piece of materia is supposed to destroy the planet. He's holding it in his paw. I imagine he's like holding it in his paw. What the? Is everyone all right? What's going on? Where am I? Don't leave me alone. The very best doggo. Red, you're here. I'm so glad. Tifa. Something strange. Why is it dark? Where is everyone? Everyone's waiting. Cloud's in trouble. Please come. Help us. Over there. R right. I'm not sure I understand, but I'll go if you want me to. Yeah, not a trap. Definitely not a trap. <laughs> and remember... The black materia. Mr. President, I've got a bad feeling about this place. Maybe we should go back to our ship now. We need to prepare for the inspection anyway. Hey, where did you come from? Don't know. This place is gonna get rough. Better leave things to me and get out of here while you still can. Leave things to you? I don't know what you mean. This is where the reunion is happening, where everything begins and ends. Cloud! I'm here! I'm here to help you, Cloud! Cloud is losing his mind. A lot. Thanks, Red. Where's the black materia? Cloud! It's safe. I'm holding on to it. I'll take it from here. Give me the black materia. You can't hear my voice. Are you alright, Cloud? Then here you go. I was a little apprehensive holding this thing. No! Don't! Please stop, Cloud! Thanks. Leave the rest to me. Come on. The black materia. Please wait just a little longer. Everyone, thanks for everything, and I'm I'm sorry. 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 Especially to you, Tifa, I'm really sorry. You've been so good to me, I don't know what to say. I never lived up to being Cloud. And maybe one day you'll meet the real Cloud. <laughs> this is perfect. It means my experiment was a complete success. On what number were you hit? Where's your tattoo? Professor, I don't have a number. You didn't give me one because you said I was a failed experiment. What the? You mean only a failure made it here? Professor, please. Give me a number, please. That is, like, super pathetic. Shut up, miserable failure. Who was that? He's a 
Sephiroth clone I created after the real Sephiroth died five years ago. Genova cells and Maka with my knowledge and skills have been combined with science and nature to bring him to life. I'm not wild about the failure part, but the Genova reunion theory has now been proven. You see, even if Genova's body is dismembered, it will be eventually become one again. That is what is meant by Genova's reunion. I have been watching for, waiting for the reunion to start. Five years have passed, and now the clones have begun to return. I thought the clones would gather at Midgar where Genova is stored, but my predictions were not entirely correct. Genova itself began to move away from the Shinra building. But being the genius that I am, I soon figured it out. You see, it was all Sephiroth's doing. Sephiroth is not just content to diffuse his will into the life stream, he wants to manipulate the clones himself. Yeah, that was how it got started. I wondered where the clones were going, but I was never able to figure it out. I couldn't figure it out either. The one thing I did know was that Sephiroth was at their final destination. I wasn't pursuing Sephiroth. I was being summoned by Sephiroth. All the anger and hatred I bore him made it impossible for me to ever forget him. That and what he gave me. Sephiroth, I'm here. And I brought you the Black Materia. Show yourself to me. Where are you? Where do I go to trigger? I have to do something. Okay. So we finally meet again. That's this is what I'm really interested in how they're gonna handle in the remake. That's the that is that's the real deal. That's his actual, you know, app he got cast in the live stream, floated his way up here, and is now encased in a Mako shell. And I'm real interested uh, from what with the changes they made at the end of remake, how they're actually going to handle this part i feel like like i feel like things are going to have to change and i'm real interested to see where they go did you see it it's sephiroth no he is here this is perfect both genova's reunion and sephiroth's will they won't be diffused into the live stream but gathered here what are you so happy about professor you know what this means don't you cloud has the black materia Sephiroth is going to summon Meteor. Every single person is going to die. Whatever I say now is too little, too late. We must evacuate. I want you all to come with me. There is still much more I want to hear. Also, um, we've been chasing you and now we have you. Cloud, no! Stop, please! not feel like rendering the rest of him because they could only render so much because PlayStation 1. Like, that is like the question of the ages. Is it his whole self or did Cloud actually bisect him? Very cool cutscene. It's pre- I know it's pre-rendered FMV, but even then, pre-rendered FMV, you could only- I feel like you could only do so much in CG. I mean, in 97, I mean, this was state-of-the-art CG in 97. 
So sapphire weapon, uh, diamond weapon. Yeah, they didn't spend too much on it. Ultimate weapon, who looks like Mecha Godzilla and sounds like Mecha Godzilla. If you look very close, you see Ruby and Emerald shooting off into space also. Ruby, Emerald, or that's Ruby, Emerald and Ruby were the last two. Yeah, they weren't gonna spend a ton of time on CG, and they had, and you, they have to fit this game on three discs, so they, there's only so much fidelity. It's like so, where they, what, that's like, did he, did Cloud actually bisect him, or was that lazy rendering? Just like one of the things that I've always noticed when Aerith dies is that Sephiroth is not wearing gloves. He has his hands are flush colored, and it's always something I've wondered: is that a render error, or is that actually was that intentional? I told you I've spent way too much time studying this game. Cloud, cloud. But that's what literary and film and game analysis is. It's looking at those tiny little details. I didn't know what to do. I was always like that. Have fun. Septandy, is that uh, Retro Battle Stations thing? What's the matter? Poor kid. Oh. Are you all right? Oh. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, Tifa? Tifa? Tifa! Oh, Cloud. That's right, I'm Cloud. Is it really you? I never thought I'd find you here. Yeah, it's been a while. What happened to you? You don't look well. Yeah, it's it's nothing. I'm okay. The electrical, like, whenever he's, like, losing it and the electrical noises and the fact that they use the background to that effect is also just such a good touch. How long has it been? Five years. What is it? It's really been a long time. Actually, it's been seven years. So, yeah, that makes sense. Because if Cloud was 16. And according to word of God, he is... See, this is where things get weird. Because word of God says that Cloud's age is 21. So if he was 16 in Nibelheim, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So either he's 22, 23, or somebody just wasn't paying attention. Um, that's the one thing I've never been able to figure out in this game. And I don't know. And I mean, at the end of the day, mentally Cloud is 16 because he's essentially been in stasis for between five and seven years. And... and he didn't mature. So, like, a lot of his issues during, like, especially, like, during, like, Advent Children with, like, his survivor's guilt and stuff is also coupled with a healthy dose of, he's only 16. 
You got your wish and joined soldier. Quit after the Sephiroth incident. Now you're a mercenary. Unless there's two years between... But then he... He thinks he, and then he thinks he's 21, but he's actually 23. Because uh, there could also be two years between. I don't want to say it took Zack two years to get to Midgar because that doesn't jive with Crisis Core, but it's entirely possible that that Cloud's been knocking around Midgar in a half Mako stupor for two years. You told me a lot about how it happened after you left Nibelheim, but something's wrong. I felt there was something strange about the things you talked about. Things that you didn't know that you should, and other things you shouldn't know that you did. I wanted to make sure, but then I heard you were going far away. And I didn't want that. I didn't know what to do, so I needed more time. And that's why I told you about the avalanche job. I wanted to be with you and watch you. You can hear the cry of the planets. This is a great track. Ding. Outward. Oh, we don't have control yet. Huh? The glare. You'll be better soon. You've, you've been asleep for a long time. I'm hungry. Hey, why don't you ask? About him. I love the fact that they basically have an interrogation chamber just in Junin, but it also has like nice windows. Don't worry, I don't know what happened to Cloud either. Guess I shouldn't tell you not to worry. None of them know if he's alright either. He's still alive, right? How long was I asleep? About seven days. What about Sephiroth? You ain't over it yet. Remember that huge light in the northern cave? Since then, the creator's been sounded by a huge barrier of light. Everyone knows Sephiroth sleeps in that big hole protected by the barrier. We can't do a thing about it. We just gotta wait till he wakes up. And on top of that, some huge monster called Weapon's been on a rampage. Weapon? Remember that huge monster that was with Sephiroth at the bottom of the crater? Well, it's up here now. They say it's some legendary monster from the past. Weapon is protecting Sephiroth? Dunno. But he's going around here tearing stuff up. Right now, Rufus is fighting it. I hate to say it, but he's got guts. We should have been the ones to destroy it, but we got no we ain't got no time. Time. Hey, what about Meteor? Well about that. And there it will stay. For plot reasons. While I ch read chocobos and run around and do about 60 million other things, and only when I am ready will it actually fall to Earth. Do we have to give up? Don't know. I thought Cloud would show up to save you all. P Professor Hojo wanted to check up on Cloud too. What are you gonna do with Cloud? Sephiroth's alter ego. Meteor has been summoned. It's essentially all over now. So there's no need for you now. 
Now maybe there is an important task for you. President, preparations for the public execution are complete. Execution? What do you get by executing us? You are to be executed for causing the situation. People are ignorant. They'll feel better as long as someone is punished. I take back what little praise I had for this guy. Well, enjoy your last moments together. I'll tie your arms now. I enjoy that the Turks, I'm not sure why the Turks theme here plays here, but it's a good theme. Nice catch stuff. Yeah, I'm real kind of conscientious, Spectre Flash, about the words that, that, like, yes, I know they're in the game, but I, for many reasons, don't like, want to say those words out loud. Oh, it's just, to plotty plotty plots. I like that you can run. Is everyone here? These are the ones who brought this madness into the world. No, that fat one or the, the chubby one on the left, totally not suspicious, not at all. What are these people? We will be broadcasting your miserable death live on national television. Scarlet, why a public execution in this day and age? With the chaos resulting from the media reports, we desperately need to rally public support. It's better that we punish somebody, anybody. You make me sick. <laughs> They'll never admit it, but everyone loves this stuff. We'll start with the girl. You've got to do it, do me first. <laughs> Camera, this way. Make sure you get this, the audience just eats up. Terrible goodbyes. doing? This is my special gas chamber. Take your time and enjoy a slow, painful death. Stuck up. Which I don't understand. I, I feel like that's obviously a, that's a mistranslation of some flavor. Because that just that line doesn't make sense there. Well, now the show's about to begin! Emergency! Emergency! Weapons approaching! Attention to all military personnel! Take your positions! Oh no, it's weapon! Run! Hey, hey, all of you! Why now? How does it feel now, Scarlet? So you didn't run. I'm impressed. How do I feel right now? Sleeping ass. Totally catch sheet. Weirdo. Oh yeah, this is gonna be awful. Hi Rex. <laughs> yeah. You missed me pontificating on time. How do you get rid of? I don't remember how to get rid of the little target things. I know there's a way to do it. I just don't remember what it is. Like, I have stuff for them, I just can't equip them. Until after this fight. Oh, uh, we have a melee weapon. That's not helpful.
I'm here to help! Aren't you part of Shinra? Let's just say I'm up against capital punishment. Besides, I hate this broad. Come on, we gotta help Tifa. I'll keep watch at the entrance. I'm not super worried about materia, I just wanna make sure they have better weapons. I've already pushed the switch! Yeah, this smaller, yeah. It won't open! Yeah, this is a fun part. I do like this part. So, everybody calls this Sapphire weapon. It's weapon. There's been so many attacks lately. Can we handle it? I believe so. Your orders. No need to ask. We'll give it a shot from our big cannon. Open cannon doors. Activate cannon target weapon. This is kind of an interesting retcon in that it was just called weapon in the game. But because it's blue and because you have... It was printed in Ultimania, but I think it's, a, I think it's kind of a retcon. Uh, I didn't say it was wrong. I, th I said this is kind of a neat retcon because I don't. I don't think they. they I think they, they called it Sapphire Weapon after the fact because that's what everybody just started calling it. Because all the rest of them say Ultimate Weapon, Diamond Weapon, Ruby Weapon, Emerald Weapon. So I think it's just kind of like a like a back like a. Oh yeah yeah we'll call it that. <laughs> the cannon. Fire! This is such a good. Like, <sighs> did we get it? Oh, uh, Rex, you missed the part that I really want to see them do on a PS4. All the stuff in the crater. That is what I am... So we, were, we were pontificating earlier about whether or not the fact that you only really see half of Sephiroth in the crater is because Cloud bisected him or because they were like lazy when they did the cutscene and they didn't want to render the whole body for whatever reason. Probably computer power. Do we get it? Seems like it. Nope. <laughs> Narrator! They did not, in fact, get it. It can't be! We hit it dead on! How about the cannon? It'll take time to reload. Then use regular firepower in the meantime. Yes, sir! Open all artillery doors! Target weapon! More really good music. Because I feel like they would have actually... Square Enix is pretty good. And I feel like they actually would have used Sapphire Weapon if that was originally what they wanted to call it. This thing takes, like, so much firepower straight to the face. Like, this is more Daka. In, like, its purest form. Guns and rocket launchers... Like, Macross Missile Salvos is essentially what this is. Yeah, this is like every- well, these are basically Kaiju. I mean, freaking Diamond Weapon even- or, no, Ultima Weapon even looks like Mecha Godzilla. Gas! Baron, help! Hold your breath! Hold on as long as you can! I can't hold on forever! Dude, you have a gun for an arm. Just, like, shoot through the door. The gas room's probably locked from a different room. We gotta go with a different plan. 
Let's get out of this room first. Tifa, I'll help you. Later, I promise. Oh, are they really? Which three? I did not know that. There were, uh, mobile suits. Not that I know anything about Gundam, but I just want to know which three emeralds. Or which three, which three weapons. Fools! Now you can't save the girl! <laughs> okay, time for plan B. Let's run to the airport. Why the airport? And leave Tifa there? Trust me, we gotta take a chance. Where are you going? The airport's the other way. Rubies, Hayag, Emerald, and Diamonds. Oh, cool. Airport is this way? Yeah, completely not Yuffie wearing VR goggles. So obviously Yuffie wearing VR goggles. Years before VR goggles were a thing. I think these are first, these are seconds, I think. They're wearing red, yes, I think they're. Yeah, they're they're so reckless. Super not helpful, Ketsuchi. Super not helpful. Okay, maybe I should give somebody a revise. Oh, sweet. I'll have to look at that, or you might have to DM that to me at some point. Picking on Ketchy, even if he is a dirty, filthy, rotten traitor. I'd be excited about the metric ton of gill I have, but I'm about to blow a ton of it. one of my main party members, and so she's gonna hit a little harder. It's like a whale on this guy. I'm just, I'm so, I'm too lazy to want to re- deal with materia after this is all over. Uh-oh. Oh, good. <laughs> this could be bad! Yeah, I got there. But please, if I could have a word. Shut up, I'm in a hurry. Don't make so much noise. It's me, Yuffie. What the hell are you doing here? Yeah, this on a PS4 is gonna be amazing. Of course, I don't you don't know what they're gonna do. We might not get the weapons. They might go in a whole they might you know Nomura might go in a whole different direction. I'll explain later. Now we gotta get to the airport. Okay, so there's somebody with magic. Who can actually fight. Let's steal an airship! 
I would be too, but we have to be prepared for that eventuality. There's the big giant plane that we'll deal with later. my back to the end, partner. Three feet in arms. Let's see. Oh, you have to hit them both at the same time. Alright, which button stops the gas? It's back here. Here? I don't remember! Oh, found it. Don't actually remember. Open it. I've never run out of time there. Come in. It takes a, like a Mako shell to the face to, to kill this thing. And this is the weakest of the lot. Maybe close as <laughs> it comes out on their... I don't know, Kameha. That's also what we call the... Uh... Hey, open it. First you lock me in this weird place and then you tell me to come out. Make up your mind. I don't know anything about Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball, or Dragon Balls, or Dragon Ball anything. I just know Kamehamehama is, um, what everybody yells whenever they cast the Chaos Reach Super in Destiny, because that's basically what it is. It's the bolt of lightning that the Warlock just, like, shoots out from their hands. So anytime I see something like that, I mean, I could have gone Hado Hadouken. Also, oh, where's where's off of this bloody rock? Up, up this way. This way is off of this bloody rock. Well, unlimited power, force lightning is a different super. That's the other arc super is actually looks like we, we call it Palpatine because it is basically force lightning. 
So yeah, no, we've got one. No, warlocks have one. I don't. I don't run an arc lock. I run a void lock. Our little game of hide and seek ends here. The execution may be unsuccessful, but your death falling from here and crashing through the waves still might be pretty exciting. Stuck up to the end. Quit slapping me, you push the zero button. Once you get off, it's real hard to get back. I want to see they this had better Yeah, this had better be an actual fight in remake. Now it's time to pay up. I'll drop you if you don't settle down. Run. Run right to the end of the cannon. I love this. Yeah, I want Tifa to slap the the bejeebers out of her. I love the high wind music. Sid's gonna steal his airship back. like Sid, but with a houseboat, yes. Do you really want to live on a houseboat? You okay? I can't wait to see the high wind in remake. <laughs> My cheeks hurt. Forget about that. What's all this about? Well, I'll catch the details later. In any case, the airship high wind is now yours. And Yuffie's, again, Yuffie's puking on the deck. <laughs> I'm glad you're safe. Poor you, baby. Why didn't you tell me you could fly an airship? I thought Tifa was gone for good. Sorry, but I had to do something to trick the enemy. Come on, everyone is waiting. Everyone's here. Well, Yuffie's up, you know, losing her lunch on the deck, but everybody else is here. Happy Sid is so happy. Welcome to my airship, the High Wind. <laughs> my air Sid, my airship, not yours. Wrong. You should be more excited than that. We have an airship. I'm a Sid. Sid. <laughs> yeah. Not enough crew. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. I'll give you information, Shinra. Ask me if there's anything you don't understand. This poor dude. Pilot in training. No, don't talk to me right now. Do you think we're strong enough without Cloud? Do you think we can save the, can't save the planet alone? Oh, we totally can. Meteor's coming and weapon is on the rampage. At a time like this, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. No idea at all. Get a hold of yourself. Let's think about this. No way we can get off of this train we're on. If only Cloud were here, everything would be fine. Cloud would stand that cocky little way he did and tell us what to do. He'd say everything's under control, Tifa. Tifa, when'd you become such a wimp? I'm sorry, Barrett. I'm kind of shocked myself. I'm so depressed. And Tifa, the reason why we thought it was Cloud, because... I know. That's why I want to make sure. That's why I have to see him again. So glad you're all right, Tifa. What, does Cloud always gotta be around? We did fine without him in the beginning. 
What had what happened to the tough girl I used to know? Where'd she go? I want you to know that I didn't dislike him. Gotta admit, he was a strange dude. Just when you thought he was cool, he'd go off and do some fool thing. And when you thought he was smart, he'd show you how stupid he was. Sid, you're not helping. I can see why he's this way. As long as you stay alive, you just might see him again someday. I'll be able to see him someday. If we can find out where he is, the Highwind will get us there in no time. Maybe. Cloud is still stuck deep in the north crater where the ground cracked and swallowed him up. Buried in the depths of the underground. Are you talking about the life stream? The life stream sometimes gushes from the surface and cracks in the ocean floor. I heard that such a place exists. Maybe, just maybe, Clouds. Captain Sid! Steve is sorry, but I gotta show this more on how to land the ship. Don't worry, it'll be done in a minute. Oh, and Tifa, no matter what your goal is, you gotta be prepared. Go to your room and get ready for the operation. Which I think is here. I think it wants me to save. Which I probably should. I haven't saved in like forever. Oh, but you guys pick a party. Tifa, Sid, Yuffie. Want the curse ring? I want... I want Bay of Reckoning Bill. Oh, so Tifa has his, that's why. I want I want to try the thing, okay? I want to try the thing. I want to try Bay of Reckoning. I just want I want to play with the build as well. I want to do that. I want to play with that build. So I need to go look up where the curse ring is and how soon I can get to it. I also need to go get Yuffie some earrings. Since we have the airship, I need to turn the light on so I can read my book. 
Uh, we can go get Theta now. We are strong enough for that. We're going. We're going. We're off. Why are you always preparing? Just go! Just going, sir. Alright. Alright. Fly is... This is fly. Fly! Okay. That's the... Dudes, nope, nope, nope. This is where we want to be. Uh, enemy skill, enemy skill, perfect. You in the ugly snake suit. Let's chat. See where the curse ring is. No, 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 no. I forgot about that part. Darn it! Well, at least one of us will get it. Cursed ring, find the deal, steal ultimate weapon. Okay, we've got a little bit longer. No, you have to, if I remember correctly, you have to cast, it has to, Yuffie has to learn it. Yeah, she doesn't have it because she wasn't in the party. That might be a QLL thing that they did for the, like, for the FF7 for the new port. But in the, in OG, and you couldn't cast them on each other either, which was super irritating. Self-casting would, yeah, we, that was, I think, one of the first things everybody tried. Alright, let's, we'll come back for this. This might be a, this might be some thing I do off stream. Or I'm gonna try again because, oh boy, did that snake come out of nowhere. Yeah, snake came out of nowhere. I need to look up what there is. There's, I know there's a trick to it because it's it's based on like RNG and stuff. 
So just like everything in this game, there's a trick to it. Alright, let's first off. Bring up the map so we can fly by map. For those of us who get lost, even, you know, in a, with a GPS. We'll get there eventually. That's the ancient forest. We'll get there eventually. Anything in the gold saucer without cloud. Alright, Rocket Town updates. looking at for her magic attack is the number here that says magic, which is enough to 101. So strength is how hard you hit and magic is how hard you cast. Shop with weapon armor and accessories. You can get more Eden coats. One chest each in the weapon shop and the item shop. Alright, so there's a chest here. Ah, there it is. I'm just going through your living room. It's supposed to be force bracelet, in case you're wondering. For I have the fourth bracelet. But it's supposed to be Force Bracelet. Where's the other chest? And the item shop. This is the hotel, I think. Yeah. Oh, welcome, Matt. How cute. Shop. Yes, this is the item shop. This is the item shop. Error exit time for a death wall manipulate. Yeah, you can't manipulate the Midgar. The, you cannot manipulate Snick Friend, unfortunately. You can't make him cast beta. Came from. 
Junin has a ton of new weapons. Deal is a thing. We could get Chaka Buckle. I just wanted to get those earrings before I forgot. I love the music here. Look, it's a smoking crater where the where the it's a smoking crater where the thing was. Let's go find, so... String, so let's get Goblin Punch. Let's just, like run around and collect enemy skills. by map. Fly by map. Don't look at the screen, look at the map. Yeah, I know, that's exactly what it looks like, is it looks- Yeah, it looks like, uh, James was there punching a chunk. That is about what it looks like when James gets done punching a chunk. So, the goblin dudes on this island have a, an enemy skill called Goblin Punch. I can also steal Xeonuts from them, which I need later. Goblin Punch! I want them to Goblin Punch Sid. Stop goblin punching you because she already has the skill. slots to play with. Also, we should save. At this point in the game, I actually have to, like, super remind myself to save. Because otherwise, I'm going to <laughs> TPK accidentally at some point. But this is so... This is the point when the game opens up a little bit. I'm supposed to go to the one place I haven't been yet, the deal. And continue the plot, also, and script to joke about. Well, I need them to actually use the skill Goblin Punch. I probably should see if these guys can be controlled. Because that would make it easy. Yeah, it doesn't mean get punched by a goblin, it means goblin uses skill goblin punch. Give me 
that nut. Because you need a Zeo nut for um, chocobo breeding. Obviously, he has a rare important item because it's taking forever to steal from him. to see I know there are I know there are better Yuffie weapons I just need to remember uh Rimblade Enhanced Sword Drill Arm Platinum Fist Kaiser Knuckle Um Oh wait let's just or we could just go to Medeal and get really, really, really good stuff as I flip forward and realize that Medeal has the entire crystal, um, this, the entire set of crystal weapons. So we'll go, we'll just do that. We might as well advance that plot. Also, we get to scritch a chocobo behind its ears. I want to land! I want to land and go in that cave! I want what is in that cave! That cave has some really cool I don't even remember which cool materia, but it has a cool materia in it, and I want it. Oh look! It's the only village on the map we haven't been to yet! This might be where we need to go. I, I, I can't even imagine. Good track. This here, Miss Medeal, it's a quiet little hot springs town. Perfect place for folks like us to live out their lives. So you want to talk to her. 
because after a thing happens, if you talk to her in every shop, she'll have all the stuff. Item shop. You come again. Let's see if I can not run into every wire under my desk. I need that because that's contained. That is a good flipping material. I want that. Oh, this is a material shot. We're gonna go get some uh, mimic greens. Because I want that rock. We're gonna do that before we get too far in and advance the plot. Like about that bridge, it's gonna trigger the trigger the event. Which I mean, it doesn't really super super matter because you can come back with Sid, you can and, and scritch the burb. But I think Treat Tifa should get to scritch the burb. Tifa's had a rough day. She should be able to she should be able to give Choco scritchies to Chocobo. hitbox on Medeal. I like the hitbox on Medeal has always been a pain in the butt. Chocobos. Oh, 
welcome! Bye! Because we can also use a few of them to get... Uh, Choco Buckle. I can go back and look at the how to get Choco Buckle thing. We're just gonna we're just gonna like zoom crazily all over the map. It's gonna be fun. Uh, Saint Medeal is more this ish way. Yes, it is. Chaka Buckle will get beta. It's a bird. It's a frog. What's wrong? You're friendly. You have food. That's how you get the cursed ring. Let's do that. Uh, then we won't be able to use the build until she comes back, but... It's a wall. We just painted a door on it. It's not real? That's why we drew it on there to make it feel like you could pass through to another world. It's not much of an apology, but play please take this. First ring. Dream door like that into another world. That's an interesting line. Make all my dreams come true in a different place. Just because of remake. Alright. Power Soul. Curse Ring. Let's give this a shot before we lose Tifa for a while. Game's like, you are supposed to go actually into this town and make plot happen. And I'm like, I know I'm supposed to go into this town and make plot happen, but I don't feel like making plot happen. I feel like picking a fight. Then we'll make plot happen. But I want to pick a fight first. Go 
no, 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 don't put her to sleep. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. I love it. A good build. I almost want to use her later because it's such a good build. I think, I, I think that's how it works. <laughs> All right, let's do plot. What's the matter? Are you all alone? You got lost, separated from someone you love. Silly thing. Yes, it's been about a week now since he washed up here on the shore. Poor pokey-headed young thing. It was really sad but weird. He was holding this really long sword. I don't know. The whole film thing feels unlucky to me, but the weird thing was those... The amazing thing was those weird blue eyes. What? Wait a minute. What did you just say? Excuse me, that young person you were just talking about... Yeah, a villager found him a little ways down the coast. It was about a week ago, I think. Yeah, poor kid, he must have drifted from somewhere far away. Cloud! It must be! It's Cloud! Good job, Tifa. You looked in the only place on the planet we haven't looked yet. So where is he? Is he safe? Where is he now? Uh, at the clinic. He's alive! Cloud's alive! You be oh, hey! Wait for me! Cloud! I'm here now. The way you're running around, you think Meteor fell or something. I'm sorry, but I heard a friend of mine was being taken care of here. A friend? Oh yeah, that young fella. Don't worry, your friend is next door. But I'm afraid his condition is... Here? Over here. Cloud! <laughs> oh, Cloud, I'm so glad you're safe. Cloud? What's wrong, Cloud? <laughs> What happened to you? Mako poisoning. Quite an advanced case. It appears this young man's been exposed to a high level of Mako energy for a protracted period of time. He probably has no idea who he is or where he is now. His voice doesn't even work. He is literally miles away from us. Some place far away where no one's ever been. All alone. Doctor. That's evil. You lying or what? Cloud. Let's excuse ourselves. Listen, would you all mind waiting outside? This is just like, I am watching you because I'm actually fond of these knuckleheads that I've joined up with. And if you make her sad, I might have to try out my new lance. What do you want me to do? Cloud, please talk to me. Tell me that you can see me, that you can hear me. I came this far believing in the memories we have together. This, this isn't happening. This is, this is too cruel. Cloud, I... Listen, Doc, tell us the truth. What about Cloud? Is he alright? I'll say it again, he's got Mako poisoning. I've never seen a case this bad. 
An immense amount of Mako-drenched knowledge was put into his brain all at once. No normal human could survive it. It was a miracle that he did. No wonder. After all, he fell into the life stream and was carried down here. But remember, the light of hope can be found anywhere. If you give up hope, what'll happen to him? Hope. I guess that's all that's left for us now. You okay? Yes, I'm, I'm sorry I had you all worried. And I have something I want to tell you all. I don't care about anything else, only Cloud. I... I want to be by his side. Yara. Yeah, hang in there, Tifa. You gotta do it then. You gotta live true to yourself. I'm sorry, everyone. At a time like this, don't worry. I'll stop by again sometime. Look after Cloud. Take care, Tifa. Right. Now we gotta be heading back to the high wind. What are we gonna do now? What can we do? Oh, that Sid's sleeping on the deck. Is there nothing we can do? And don't go telling us waiting for Cloud to get better. Oh, I've got some news. What is it, that you're a spy? Yeah, I already told you I was. Both Gyahaha and Kyahaha are up to something. Wanna eavesdrop? Now then, we're faced with two issues. One, destroy Meteor. Two, remove the barrier around the North Cave and defeat Sephiroth. Any ideas? Yeah, <laughs> we already solved the first problem. Meteor will soon be smashed to bits. The plan has already been put in motion to collect huge materia from each region. Well, huge materia is high density, special type of materia made through a special compression process in Mako reactors. The energy extracted is 330 times the strength of normal materia. How about that? We'll gather the huge materia together and ram it into Meteor. That will cause a huge explosion, reducing Meteor literally to bits. You're going to ram Meteor. Do you think we have the technology to do it? Don't worry about that. More importantly, we've got to collect huge materia from each area. We've already collected materia from Nibelheim. All that's left is Coral and Fort Condor. We've already dispatched troops to Coral. Yeah. -ha -ha. Coral? Where else can they do to Coral? And the huge materia. You mean the huge materia, don't you? I've heard about it. When our small materia nears the larger one, something should happen. I'm certain of it. That's why we're using the power of materia in our fight. Can't let Shinra get a hold of the huge materia. Besides, when Clouds gets back, I want to show him this huge materia. He's going to be shocked. So what are you saying, Barrett? Even though you're always knocking him, you really want Cloud to return. I ain't saying nothing about nothing. You just shut your face. Every group's got to have a leader. And that's me. Or at least I want to be, but i not cut out to be the leader. I never knew that till lately. I can't wait to see the new Barrett go through this whole sequence of, like, this is the character, this is this Barrett's experiencing character growth. So I'm really interested in how they're going to expand on this. I'm wondering if, like, they're going to rearrange stuff. Uh, uh, huh? What's going on? You've been chosen to be the new leader, mostly because you were asleep. <laughs> but for us to fight, we got to have Highwind and you. We needed to save the planet. Who's running this ship? 
you. That's why you're our new leader. No one else can. The ship's gonna save the planet. Isn't that gonna be just a little tough? Aw, oh, man, that went straight to my heart. I'm a man too. All right, I'll do it. Everyone follow me. Now here's the first job. The operation room's waiting for you. I love how Sid runs. I just love how Sid runs. He runs like an old dude. Yo, Sid, when you're ready, we're heading for the coral reactor. Come on, you better hurry. Sid. Yakking into my machinery. Sid, hey, you heard a job well done. Okay, I'm going to take Ren and take Yuffie. Sid, we did that already. Everybody's. Asuna will give you roughly the same as a ribbon without wasting your... And Hades will do it, too. Added effect Hades will do this kind of the same thing. And then you can you don't have to waste your accessory spot on a ribbon. You can use it for things like first rings. Actually, I think I'm going to end up doing is going and getting some more HP and MP plus material. gonna do we're gonna actually not listen to Barrett because so what else is we're gonna do like one more thing before we wrap up the stream here because this is fairly quick and it'll we can just get this fight over with so it wants you to go to coral first but I usually end up doing this first because this is really not that hard so what it wants you to do here 
what it very much wants you to do here is play its little tower defense game. This is why we had to stop and talk to them all the way back at the beginning, so we could play the so we could play the tower defense game. And by play the tower defense game, I'm going to show you how you. This is like, this is the super easy way to do this. There is absolutely no need to spend money on the tower defense game. Sid, go up the ladder, please. to attack if we lose here it's over we're counting on you i am ready this is the deciding battle all right we don't need to set units so it wants me to this is the shack where i am it wants me to do a tower defense game and set units along here do is we're just going to fight the boss because no matter whether you play the tower to game tower defense game or fight the boss you will get the same you should get the same huge materia and you get a good armor from the boss So we're just gonna hang out here and wait for everything to come to us. So you can see that little red line up, coming up the side. Shows where they are in relation to me. So yeah, so you have all these little dudes, you have flyers, and you have you know, crabby tanky thingies, and little soldiery dudes, and you can set your own, and it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's a tower defense game. And I'm not good at those, I don't enjoy those. It is good music, though. So yeah, usually one of these flyers will come up and get up with this flyer dude will usually get up here first. East, Wyvern, Barbarian. I am not worried. Enemy invasion! I think you can win it any time by just doing this. But this is the only time it's worth doing. Oh, 
my most powerful magic at it. Yeah, super easy. Imperial Guard is a very good armor. You get some gill. We did it! That was wonderful! Ah! I love this cutscene. That light just now. The, the condor, the eggs. Would you go outside and see what it was? <gasps> it's a big baby bird and a big phoenix materia. It's a big fat. Look at that big fat burb. It is the fattest of burbs. I like the burb. 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 Gone. Be sure and report to my father, too. I remember which one is his father. I think it's the one, the despondent dude sitting. I think it's this dude. I mean it, thanks. Although there isn't anything giver, you can make sure you can stop by any time. What's this? Gotta have that materia! This is the materia inside the reactor. What did we fight for? We weren't protecting the reactor, we were protecting the condors. When that reactor was built, we were forced to help. That's how we knew what was in the reactor. I knew this day would come, so after the Shinra left, I snuck in and took the materia. I didn't mean to fool you, but I guess that's how it ended up. I'm really sorry. Just forget it, we're still alive. If you put it that way, we're really grateful. I got me some huge materia. I got me some... Ripping good armor. And that'll be Sid's armor for pretty much the rest of the game, because once I get, um... There's armor that's good. For, I can't remember which one is the good magic armor, and then Cloud gets the Mysteel, which is also some really good armor. But yeah, Imperial Guard is a very good piece of armor. Alright, let's do a save. Our backup save. And I think that we're gonna call it there. Because that's a good stopping spot. So that's awesome. We're getting through. We've got a little bit, we've got a couple more. Uh, things to get through and some plot. Uh, maybe make up stream tomorrow or Friday. We'll see how I'm doing, how I'm feeling. Um, no promises, but definitely stream on Sunday for Retro Metal. Uh, what are we doing on Sunday? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> uh, I'm going to post probably something. I'm going to post a poll or something on Twitter uh, maybe tomorrow and see where that ends up. Uh, I have a couple ideas. but Because we finished uh, Total Replay, so there's a bunch of things we could do. I am kind of leaning toward doing a 16-bit day and actually doing, like, GS-specific stuff since we have the GS, but we'll see.
Uh, in the meantime, thanks everybody for coming out, for watching, for chatting, for streaming, uh, for supporting, for all the things you do that makes the stream possible. I mean, I there's a, it's a stream is not a stream without an audience, and I have you have you are my audience, and I super appreciate that. Um, so thanks everybody, thank uh, you know for watching and supporting and all the things you do. Um, dry throat. So as all, and I will see you all definitely on Sunday, possibly beforehand. Hey, Spectre Flash, retro. Yes, this is retro. Yeah, I have a very retro room. I feel bad you're coming in right at the end where we're, I'm just signing off. But uh, tune in, uh, tune in Sunday at one Eastern for the super retro retro stream. Mer? Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, as always, here. Thanks for watching.